And a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now, the renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. Also, if you do enjoy the content, please consider clicking that like button, subscribing, and ringing that bell to help support the content grow even further. We also stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. Enjoy the show, my friends. And uh, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back with a little bit of Gungeon, my friends. And. Ooh, we've got a nice little challenge today. We don't have, unfortunately, a B skin for Paradox, which have, you know, it would have been nice, wouldn't it? Maybe, you know, rain, instead of all this nice little uh, purple, like pink and black, uh, why not rainbow Paradox? That's what I want. Are you looking at me? He's looking at me in groups and what the fuck are you doing, bro? We are going to do some challenge mode. We did some on stream the other day. Um, just in case you're wondering, we're streaming now a little bit on YouTube. I'm looking to do at least two streams a week. One for Nota, one for Gungeon. And, you know, then we'll branch out and see what happens. Just get into the flow of streaming on YouTube. And again, anyone who joins us, highly appreciate it, my friends. You know, those who have uh, already dropped in, said hi. Hey, it's, uh, you know, salutations. Why is he got a piece of paper on his face? Maybe one day we'll find out. Maybe one day we won't. It doesn't matter. Would you like a real challenge? Be warned, there isn't a reward except immense pride. <laughs> yeah, Sam prepared to die. Uh, did we already... Do this? Prepare yourself, I don't like your odds. Fifteen. Five. Two. Uh, if you need a dice, a 20-sided 20 20 -sided dice, there you go. I've accidentally given myself double challenge mode. Um, single challenge mode is hard enough. Um, but we're in for a real challenge today, my friends. We are cursed straight away. That's actually really good. Oh, yellow chamber itched into its chambers is a single worn glyph. Allows a kin to see, as you might... So this makes one of the enemies in a room friendly towards me. If he is the last surviving friend in the room, or enemy, he will be swallowed up by tentacles, my friend. We are going full hentai straight away. Now, the great thing is, we do like to do, you know, full curse. Nine curse straight away, meaning there's a lot more heavy enemies in the room. We also get two extra hearts. This is our best opportunity yet to actually get double challenge. I've never ever even though i've done a hell of a lot 100 percent of the game you know have three th three street world records in enter the gungeon some of the hardest well no not just some of the hardest streaks in enter the gungeon which i don't think anyone will ever really you know even attempt to beat the turbo hero shrine challenge mode paradox run got a streak of 23 in that so this is double challenge mode Every time we go into a room, we get an extra little bit of modifications that occur. So we can check what modifications we have when we go into a room. Unfriendly fire and gun cue. So unfriendly fire, my shots if bounced or miss off. Oh, oh come on. Oh, no. We have gun cue as well, which means I have to reload to change weapon. Yeah, shotguns with unfriendly. So these modifications ruin you, you know, hammer time, big hammer. Thermal clips if I run out of, you know, if I reload fire on the ground. This is why challenge mode is so difficult. And rightfully so. It's meant to be a challenge, it is. But you have single challenge mode, and then double challenge mode. Single, you know, most of the time for each floor you go down, you'll get an extra modification for each extra floor. So this one, in regular challenge mode, you'll have one modification. Floor two, you'd have two modifications, and so on. In double challenge mode, you start off with two, and then it goes to three, four, five. And you know, it's... To be fair, the extra heart with yellow chamber is highly needed. Uh, gun cue and hammer time in this closed off room. Oh, I wanted to dodge roll him to death, but he's got a bit too much HP. You are going to get highly wounded in this run. It's just a matter of time. Oh, egg. Oh, we get a key and cash money. If we can get a good start, that's all we want. Hold on. Why isn't Yellow Chamber working? Shouldn't there be a charmed dude around? Oh, fuck. 
maybe you can't have maybe yellow chamber is in, oh again got surprised maybe yellow chamber just doesn't work we get the two extra hearts anyway so i'm not going to complain too much yeah um ghost of the shell as a modifier if i kill an enemy a ghost can spawn from them now the real problem with challenge mode is something like ghost of the shell you know because it means you can't go do the rap really the chance of dying in the rap is dramatically high think about it on the way to the rap and at the rat itself there is a huge spawn of those little doggos and they themselves if killed i think it's like a it's a it's more than 50 percent chance they spawn a ghost upon death so um yeah also in the third phase of the rat it scuffs out and you can't actually see the fight you know to get the equipment that's going to really help you you can't see the boxing match basically and um you get very few keys because that. Oh, I need you. I need to. Oh, go. Yeah, here's him. Oh, we ran away. What? Dodge rolling. Oh, we got him with a dodge roll. Oh, that's superb. Haven't actually. Yeah, why did he run away? Oh, I oh, know he was stuck. He must have been stuck. Ah. Eh. Three hearts still. You know, eh, maybe we'll get a med kit. But, uh, you know, I need to get my head in the game. Pressing the wrong button? Yeah. Zone control is the one where we've got the boxes we need to stand in to be able to shoot. Of course, we'll go through each of the modifications in the room. There's only a certain amount of them. Oh, I can't shoot. Gorgon's gaze is like that shot that, you know, turns you to stone. Well, you can move, but, you know, you can't shoot. Oh, very nice. So we got three hearts left, but we only start with three hearts anyway. It, the problem is, oh, we finally got a dude. The yellow chamber. Yeah, cursed Caramax, we get a load load of cursed pots which we cannot i repeat cannot have lord of the jammed in this mode but again if i can complete this run this is an in this is our new challenge by the way it will be an entirely new first for us here at lst defeating this mode yeah our friend this is what yellow chamber does and it's tentacles <laughs> this is what i was waiting for we open chests immediately Oh, spring heal for the double dodge roll. Very nice. That gets us, a, you know, hopefully we're able to spam it in certain situations because, hey, in this kind of mode, you panic a lot more, you know? Ooh. So I'm going to put all my effort into this run. We've got the two hearts early on. Extra. If we can get the early master rounds, we have a chance. We have a real chance, my friends. The thing is, however, uh, going the secret rooms? Uh, maybe not so much. Oh, shit, we haven't seen that one yet. This is electric, uh, what is it called? Shockwave. Yeah, all, oh, shit. All of the beam hurts you. However, I can stop the beam with my sword at one particular, you know, place. Ah, uh, shit, I hate rubber bullets. The worst... You see those bullets on the beam itself? If I shoot that, it will impact the beam and it will stop it growing at a certain point. Got the medkit. Um, blanks for the boss fight. The problem is I'm getting hit a lot and I'm losing a lot of money. I don't need the key yet. We can continue fighting. Unfriendly fire. Again, luckily the sawn off shotgun. Oh. Being what it is in a short range shot, shouldn't really bounce off the wall that much to hurt me unfriendly fire being you know luckily when you do bounce off a wall and it finish oh these don't bounce so unfriendly fire can allow your shot to bounce even if it doesn't traditionally bounce actually making it quite handy because it still hurts the enemy but yeah i'm gonna unless there is a new modification i need to explain i'm not gonna constantly say which one you know because that's just you know that will literally be all i say for the run since i'm going in new room after new room but hopefully it's kind of obvious as well if you play gungeon yourself oh the modifications that are occurring uh, grenade 
Oh, we get a... This is going to be the weapon. Please give me, like, a makeshift cannon for the boss fights. You know, I want to get lucky. Never lucky. Ah. Oh. Hey, at least we can try and get an item from the boss fight, having a weapon, though. But double challenge mode, my friends. Again, I did this by accident. I was actually just going to do regular challenge mode today until I accidentally, but fate said otherwise. Yeah, the silencer can stun enemies, so I might not. You know, uh, Blob Rancher, we can earn a lot of money. Make a lot of money. Ah, right, we need to keep one person alive. We can make a hell of a... Ah, we can make a lot of money here. Oh, he's my friend. Um, I kind of want my friend to die, though. What I need is the blobs to live. The problem is it's really dark here as well. And, you know, we make jammed blobs, basically. Um... This is problematic because I don't have an unlimited weapon other than, you know, my sword, which can't hit the wall. Blob Rancher, if you miss and hit the wall, it will create blobs like this. However, you can make a lot of money doing Oh, come on. You can make a lot of money doing this. Uh, it's a bit dangerous at the moment, though. However, oh, fuck. All right, let's kill him. I'm a stupid moron. Idiot person. Doing it in the dark is not really fucking advisable. Hey, we did, earn a, we did earn a bit of money, though, so. Yay. Yeah, we're fine, though. Technically and actually. Where the hell is a secret room? Oh, don't say you've hidden it. Of course they've hidden it. Why would I expect any different? Now, there's a few obvious places it might be. It's never in here, in the fire room. I don't know how many shots it would take to reveal a secret room with us. Probably not many. That's where I suspected it would be. But I would like to try and get more hearts, because this could be it, you know? Boss fights with double challenge mode? Oh, you've Gotta see it to believe it, my friends. Oh, it might be there. Oh, could be there still. Oh, it is. One blank. We get a blank for a blank. You know, we get paid out, basically. Wish me luck, my friends. It could be over very quickly. Cursed Caramax. Oh, this is not bad. This is master roundable, basically. And we can keep the blanks. If I, if I destroy all the Caramax pots that could curse me, and we put up with a bit of not being able to fire now and again. Again, this is like a normal fight. But there is two modifications, and those modifications could be anything. Certain boss fights do have um, the ability to have their own type of modification. The Wallmonger, for instance. Hill Pillars have their own certain modification. But this is, again, if we can get the Master Round and then get... Oh, Get a load of heals after this. I get a good weapon, all right? I'm feeling it. I want to keep the blanks at all costs, though. I don't even mind using all my... I don't even mind using all my uh, ammo for this one. Uh, probably, you know. Shotgun a little bit. Being able to go into the second floor. We could go to Oubliette. However, fighting... Uh, if you're looking to build, actually, maybe it would be smart. Oh, I do have the keys for Ubi as well. Hmm. I traditionally don't go. Because it's a way to, you know, lose more resources. But it's also a way to gain more resources as well. It's a difficult conundrum. Oh, dear me. But we got very lucky on the types of modifications we got for this. Yeah, fight. Again, if I get cursed, it's over, so it's a bit sketchy to have. The pots in the room. Also, the pots could spawn at the door <laughs> and immediately curse me if I'm not able to destroy them immediately. That's happened before. That's a bit rude, but... Again, the master round is literally so important. Hey, even with master rounds, you know, the difficulty of all of this is, you know, huge. 
but it would be a huge deal for me to actually win this. Uh, not many people will have uh, succeeded in this line of uh, challenge at all. I know a few have. Obviously, I've seen a few do it. That's a 50 money. Not that many hearts, but we do get the master round. JK, now we play a little game, my friends, called AK or JK47. <laughs> Which one is it? It best be the AK. Actually, when I reload this, the enemy fears me. Hmm. Not problematic. Um, and could be useful. It's basically an airsoft gun, though. That's the entire point of it. Yeah, we did get that 50 money, though, so... Oh, we could ammo it. Uh, if we get explosive rounds, the lowercase r is actually really good. If you get certain modifications, again, it's got a lot of ammo, it's got high rate of fire. Oof. We probably... Yeah. We're gonna need to be able to bend people off. Again, the problem is if I don't go... There is a water barrel. Oh, no, we actually... Yeah, did it. The blobs themselves can put that fire out, so that's probably what happened. Again, this is a tricky one. Because the oubliette with its uh, modifications could rip me apart. It really depends what I think the modifications would be for the blob fight, you know? Blobby, lo blobby lord? Don't know, couldn't say. We definitely not... We're right, we're definitely not going the route. We're definitely not going the old king, because that fight would be just too difficult, unless we had actives. Um, invulnerability actives and a lot of coolness. Now, it really depends if we want to go Lich as well, you know, as a success. We could do, you know, kill the dragon and that's it, because dragon has its own personal modifications as well. However, fighting the dragon in challenge mode is extremely difficult, because there's one modification we haven't seen yet called high stress. Now, with high stress modification... If you get that in a room, if you get hit, your HP goes down to half a heart for five seconds. If you get hit again, you're dead. And in the dragon fight, that is automatic. Yes. Those are the kind of stakes we're dealing with. And, you know, I'm going to go for the shortest route. The victory. If I do succeed, I will try this challenge again and try and go all the way to Lich and stuff like that. But, you know, one thing at a time, my friends. AK or JK. Oh, we still don't have the sword. Let's stun some people. Oh, it's not even a... This is a kind of room you really want to see. You know, a room where you don't fight. <laughs> Just peace and love and all that shit. Um, oh, dear me. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot how to do it. That's not a great start. Oh, shockwave, zone control, unfriendly fire. Let's not miss. Shock. Oh, shockwave. <gasps> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I want the money. <gasps> oh, half a heart, though. Fair enough. So, it's all about the blanks here, basically. Gulls range. Oh. oh, there's another one. Yeah. Where is it? There we go. What's it called? Pot shots. Every single pot in the room, if it gets destroyed, shoots a bullet, including the Cursed Caramax. It's a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, where is my um, yellow chamber gone? Where's my friends again? I need those friends. Another phase, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this ain't that, that bad, actually. Ooh, again, I keep on forgetting about modifications in the room. and Because there's so many already, there's three modifications per room, and it's only going to grow and grow and grow. Yeah, that was a good room, though. Good money from that. Oh, we can move faster. However, being able to move faster probably puts me into, you know, enemies a bit quicker. Hmm. Allows me to run away quicker from bullets. That's not the biggest problem. Yoga Cola. Hmm. We've already got two keys. Definitely, again, we definitely want all the blanks in the world for Master Rounds. Even though some of the modifications that happen in boss fights, you simply can't blank, you know? But we'll give it our best shot, we'll see. 
Final attack. When the enemy dies, they will have one final little thing to say. Depending, if they have a death animation, they won't actually um, have final attack. Because that death animation and their traditional final attack, that's their normal way of dying. Final attack, they basically have something very similar to what they just did anyway. So, oh, I've got a friend. We need to, all right, uh, long live the king, kill the king first. And then you can kill. Then you can kill everyone else. You can't kill anyone else until you kill the king. Oh dear me! I want your money. I want your money. Oh, I don't miss. Did I blank that? Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, problems. Unfriendly fire, high stress. The high stress man. It's the one that is pretty fucking stressful. What? Oh, this is a scuff I was talking about on stream. My friend hasn't been eaten. <laughs> we got our blob friend. He's mine. Too bad I can't. Like, oh shit. Um, I probably want to kill him, right? You know, he might give me some money at the end. No money. I might unironically try and kill people with the JK. Uh, ghost of the Shell and Friendly Fire. Luckily, it's not pot shots. But ghost of the Shell releasing a ghost after, you know, after someone's death. It's pretty cheeky, that. Yeah, run away. Did we get more money? I'm sure, I can't remember. It's the one thing. The one little detail I'm not sure about. Let's see. I'm pretty sure you don't. That would be too friendly of the game to give you money. Oh, you do. I was about to say, yeah, you get money from blobs in Blob Rancher. Why wouldn't you? Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, they're not guaranteed to give a ghost once they're dead. Yeah, we have a chance here with the health we have in the shop. If we can get a few drops... Get back to full health. Get the sword working again. What we need is good weaponry. Good items. Just like usual, but even more so. Um, Ghoul's Revenge. Can't stay in one place. Thermal Clips. Oh, shit. Ah, there's Adrenaline Rush. Right, Adrenaline Rush. Every time I dodge roll, the, games get, the game gets faster and faster. Now, if you fight Cannonball Rog, you pretty much guaranteed to have Adrenaline Rush, which is horrible because you need to dodge roll in that fight. <laughs> yeah, Last Man Standing, the one with the X across. You need to kill everyone else in the room. It's like the opposite of Long Live the King. High stress. Final attack, we get to see it properly. There you go. Yeah, but my friend shall live and tentacles shall reign. We're doing well. Uh, our Blob Rancher, I could make some money. But again, you have to deal with all the other shit in the room. Uh. Being followed by blobs, but we make it and get out of the way. Oh, this is so goddamn stressful, man. Can we not get a mimic, please? We've got to open everything. Oh, Sun Knight Javelin. Okay, one of my favorites. Going in a room, it's very accurate and it deals good damage. Two purples? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's a good kind of sniper rifle kind of deal. Oh, shit. Hot shots. Hey, it's a good way to start some good damage. Oh, we get away with it. Oh, oh, oh we got spring heal. I should fucking use it. Gorgon's gaze, high stress. Oh, poison pursuit. Poison follows me. Like, constantly. You see it? It's just, it never stops. It never gives in. Hey, with the right weaponry. The one thing you want above everything else is flight or hazmat suit. Because of... Right, because of thermal clips and poison pursuit, those two alone make hazmat suit just superior item. You know? Hey, again, I don't feel like I'm doing too bad, but this is still very early days. Oh, it's a mimic. You can run away from here. 
Hey, we save a kilo. Oh, why is he afraid of me just... What? Why is he perma afraid of me? I'm not reloading. Yeah, I don't mind it. These guys... I'm very thankful as well. When I fight a mimic, it doesn't add modifications. No, isn't it? Again, I think it was just a bit of a bug. Oh, no, it's on it again. Huh. I get raw and get airsofted, mate. Ooh, it's homing bullet. It's very nice. Because, think about it, a lot of the modifications like, um, you know, revenge bullets and stuff like that, rely off your shots. Blob rancher, stuff like that, you know, rely off you missing. If we're hitting the target every time we're homing, Hey, we reduce the amount of blobs. We reduce the amount of my own shots bouncing back to hurt me. We do take speed. We take the key. That speed, though, is massive increase. That's the kind of speed we need. Because this fight is going to be problematic. I'm feeling it already. We do have gun... Oh, gun munch. Ah, the JK. Of course, it's JK and the sawn-off shotgun, but... Which do we put in first? It does matter which you put in first. Think about it. With, with gun Q as well, right? The more shitty weapons you have, the worse you're going to perform when you are forced to, you know, reload your weapon to change weapon. Instead of just doing this. I will go JK first, because it's obviously good for fear the enemy's fearing us, but it's just DPS-wise terrible. But my target is to actually see the dragon, you know? That's that's basically... Oh, Pox Cannon. This is very underrated. Well, I say underrated. It's just very nice. Yeah, we'll get a Guan Stone. A singular Guan Stone can make all the difference. I should have probably gone for health. Uh, especially where we're going. But homing... Homing and the Sunlight Javelin don't really go together, but... Thermal Clips... This never runs out. Dark was the night, so we just have to fight in the dark, really. That's it. We look like we might be getting another master round. We look like, you know, we might be able to save our blanks again. This is such a good start. Look at the damage already. So we've got very lucky in the first two fights. This is not normally how it goes. And again, if I can get the first two master rounds, we've pretty much done better than we ever have done. Because you might expect to get, you know, one out of two master rounds, but not like two for two, you know? I don't want to use the blanks at last resort. I want to use the blanks. It's having four carrying forward. Oh, we've done it. Unless she gets a very awkward angle. Ah, beautiful stuff. Come on, item. Item me up. Um, hmm. Maybe we get an armor. This is grappling hook. Eh, the master round. Grapple. Hmm. Now, do we refill Sunlight Javelin? Because that is obviously, it pushes the enemy back. It deals a lot of damage. Yeah, Silencer just isn't really my thing. I wish I could sell it, to be honest. I like how she's just still there uh, glowing. <laughs> um, we... Can't gun munch again, can we? We'll take the half a heart, you know, precious. Precious resources. But here we go into uh, an ex not only more difficult and more powerful enemies. Remember, this is high curse as well. You know, cursed enemies have three times the amount of HP. We can stun people, okay. and it charges back up very quickly. But yeah, if I'm accurate, stun the enemy. It does 10 damage as well. Oh, I killed my friend. Hold on, I might have needed to kill my friend. We had last man stand. Oh, we got adrenaline rush. Yeah, sometimes you know, if you don't look at the actual modifiers of the room, sometimes you just notice, ah, oh, things are speeding up here. <laughs> what is all this? Unfriendly fire curse, Garamax. Go. Oh, shit. I missed. Swing, I missed. 
I'm just gonna have to rush. Uh, yeah, I can grapple as well. Oh shit, I can't fire. This is very, very problematic. Oh, I can mount. Ooh. Oh, my friend. He's doing work. Can you buff my friend, please? Yeah. Yeah, friend. This is why Yellow Chamber is so damn good. And it's why I knew as soon as I saw it, we're going to be in for at least a good chance today. Thank you, explosive by the way. Trying to remember all that, by the way, is so difficult during a fight. Who are you down there? What the fuck? Oh, right. Yeah. If we can get Omega or Alpha bullets with this type of weapon. Oh, Pox. Very nice. Again, Pox is just good. Yeah, we want to reload that. I'll take this guy down. Oh, I can't kill him. Let's not get him aggro. He would just try and move, basically. That's explosive pyre. When the enemy dies, they explode. Another modifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many, actually, thinking about it. Long live the king. Uh, kill the guy. Yes. We did kill him. Yeah, the oh, ghost of the shell. We can't stun bosses, though. However, we can maneuver in bosses very quickly. Again, grappling hook is one of those that if you use correctly... Well, again, being able to move like that quite a lot because it charges up quickly is tactically very cool. Again, I, I need to keep on remembering. I've got the old... I can't fire. All oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, we had... Um, what's it called? Zone control. Ooh. Ooh. So everyone, I mean, reload stone, we had that in a challenge run we did recently. Um, and it was kind of okay. Reload stone is an invulnerability active. Doesn't really last that long. Plus, it doesn't stop contact damage. You do reload your shots, though. Again, I'm being carried in the dogs. Uh, poison pursuit? No, it's just... Uh, it's a lot. You just gotta casually move forward slowly, you know? Constantly aware of your footing. Yeah, as long as it's not green, you know? Not sure. Oh, we're building finally. Now, this is a tricky one. <laughs> we prefer... Without taking damage, we've been doing... We'll pay for it. Not taking damage. We haven't taken damage yet in this room. Uh, luckily, thermal clips. Again, luckily, the thermal clips aspect of this isn't a problem. This never reloads this weapon, basically. What the fuck is that? Oh, the homing. It did swerve. Come on. No, oh, kill him. Have we done it? Because I would love a free item or gun. Oh, we... However, we need to pick it up after the boss fight. Oh, dear me. Blob Ranch gun queue, that kind of thing. Stun the enemy. Good. Yeah, we'll take down the aggressive hitty at the moment. And then find... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's there. Just, you know, damage it, make sure it's always running. Yeah, we'll need to... Oh, shit. Reload. Blood branch. A blanked? Again, pressure blank. Horrible shit. Hey, the homing's actually... Aggressive, as far as it goes. Hey, wasting a blank? Not the biggest deal, I suppose. Although... Ah, I'm going to be wasting blanks. I need invulnerabilities. Hammer time. Go to the shell. Um, do we have lead and maiden in this? Eventually. I think the second phase might be a lead and maiden. Luckily, it's still one shot on ghosts with this weapon specifically. Which is very nice. Ah, the problem is shooting in between two enemies. Oh, my friends. Oh, we get ammo as well. I love it when Yellow Chamber comes to the rescue. Seriously. It's beautiful. Well, this is odd. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Don't blink. If I'm staring at the enemy, they get stunned. It's one of the better modifications in a room. Yeah, we'll use Silencer to destroy things we don't necessarily want in the room. 
if I'll be accurate, that'd be nice. But yeah, don't blink. Actually really handy to have as a modification because, you know, often even just slowing the enemy down by looking at them is good enough. No blanks. Um, armor though, if we can, if we can stack armor. We haven't even opened up our gift. Our lovely gift. Oh, we need to save all the money in the world. That's the best. Gilded bullets. We'd want about two to three hundred money for about 70% extra damage. That was kind of worth, mainly because we get a chest out of it. The armor as well. Ooh, it's fresh key. The thing is now, I don't really, I'm not, I'm going to pick up the finished gun just so I can drop it eventually. The thing is, with the gilded bullets, it means I can't really purchase much. So it kills my purchasing power. But any money we do have does give us a little bit of extra damage. So it keeps my, what I'm going to consider a sniper rifle and a sun knight javelin. You know, because it's one shot in folk, it's going to keep me hopefully in one shot territory. It's going to allow me to kill bosses quicker. It's going to save me resources just by having money. If things die quicker, yeah, don't blink again, is it? Blob Rancher in this? Ooh, this is good. I want to miss over that. Oh, shit. Blob, don't move. I've got real problems. Is there anyone on? Yes, there's no one on this side. Yeah, oh, shit. Um, da -da -da -da. This is troubling because we, we have a few modifiers. I don't care for. We can make a bit of extra money here, though. Oh, I know what we do. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't do that to me as well. All right. I need to make as, uh, try and make as many jammed enemies as possible. Yeah, we earned a bit of money there. Not an amazing amount, but a bit. Blob Rancher is payday. If I can get into a position where we can abuse Blob Rancher for money and use Gilded Bullets. Oh, this run is on. Now, this is going to be the weapon we're going for. My friend is the king. Oh, shit, and he's killing. I need to stun that dude. Oh, got him. Die. Oh, it's only armor. Did I use the blank as well? Shit. We should probably use this a bit more. Problem is we lose money. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Give me money. Jammed enemy is going to give me more money. Provide me more damage. But I didn't realize he had final attack on. Yeah, with Homan, yes. Give me all the money. But yeah, with Gilded Bullets, the more money you have, up to 500 money, you can get up to double damage. However, you get diminishing returns. It's why I said you only want about two to 300 for a good balance of damage and... Um, what's that? Hot shots are oh, terrible. Luckily, the blank takes out all the remaining pots in the room. Ghost of the shell in this kind of room, though, is horrible shit. Seriously? I'm not convinced. Hey, I don't need to be convinced. The game does not. Yeah, I'll push him in. Unfriendly ghost of the, oh, ghost of the fucking shell. Yeah, there's more ghosts. Yeah, fucking want all the ghosts, yeah. Again, I've got to remember, I've got Spring Hill. I've just got to be aggressive and not shoot my friends. Oh, that grenade going off was lovely. I can't fire. Well, I can technically fire. My active. Our oh, Ghost of the Shell is more money as well, so, again, it's all gonna power me up, but it's also powering the enemy up, and... Ooh, it's a Mimic. Which, this type of Mimic is really easy to kill, you know? Mainly because the way they shoot... Oh, we get to stun enemies when we go in the room, if we can synergize this. 
We're looking good. And we get a reward from this dude. We can't forget it. However, I will not take it before the end of the room. The end of the floor, sorry. If it's cursed, it's going to, you know, quite bad. A copper amulet. The problem is I'm losing a lot of damage to pay for it. I don't need to buy a key. We could buy armor. I think we just go with what we've got. Hope for the best. What we also do, just in case there is something like gun Q in the boss fight, we do the old, you know, rat trick. Force him to show up. Um, force him to show up and run out of the room, come back in, and then I go into the boss fight, and he won't actually try and steal them unless I move more than one room away. I'm sure Bullet Ball's got the DPS. I could drop Strata if there's no... Um, If there's no gun cue, I can drop the weapons. Gun cue really strop, really stops drop strats. Um, Hox cannon will be good with the extra damage I've got at the moment. Again, with the homing as well. We'll never miss. It depends who this boss is, though. We have two blanks. It's not nearly enough for the master round. Unless it's just really easy modifications again. Oh, it's tank. Poison pursuit. Unfriendly fire. Dark. With it's actually fine. I've got a bit of extra speed. That's the great thing about this. The extra speed is going to really help me out. we just got to watch out for the poison, of course. And his friends and, you know, my own shots retaliating to me. I need to look where I'm going as well because hopefully, because you can see bullets in the dark, we'll see his friends shooting at me. So I'll be able to locate them. Yeah, there he is. Also, it can show up on screen, their location. We do need to take out his friends quick. And we might be able to get a 3 out of 3 master rounds. That would be incredible. <laughs> you know, I can't count on this. Oh, I can't count on this it just yet, though. Friend. He's not my friend. He's your friend. Again, halfway there. Still got the two blanks. Is he being, he, is he being poisoned as well by... walking over my bullshit drill? Again, just fire out. Hope for the best. Sometimes, again, if I'm going to use the blanks, I use them. Yeah, if I shoot near a wall, the revenge could get me. These shots go on forever, though. Thinking about it. Our oh, bullet ball automatically homes toward... Yeah, bullet ball wouldn't have any... Yeah, I'm going to have to blank that. It'll stun his... It'll stun his friends. Yeah, I need to blank that. Let me notice how he's got a bit more aggressive now. What's he doing? This tank's acting weird as fuck. Where's the tank now? Um. Fuck it. Fuck it till the end now. Come on. I mean, oh, yes. Three out of three master rounds, baby. Double challenge mode. Give me HP. Charmed? Hmm. I'll tell you what, though. That is a... Ooh. What's the synergy? Oh, Cerebral Bros. It upgrades it into the shooting two at once. Yeah. Incapacitating two enemies in a room with the extra damage. Oh, this is it. This is the best chance I've ever had. It's going to happen. Or it won't. And, uh... Oh, we get our reward. I'm so glad I didn't forget. We've got two keys. I shouldn't purchase anything. Unless this guy gives me briefcase full of cash. Which he probably won't do. Although, I've been looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, accretion. Um... I mean... It freezes the enemy. It can explode. It can poison. It doesn't have many shots, but yeah, these planets are doing things. Four floor. Hey, with seven and a half hearts, eight total. We really need to... Yeah, I'm going to leave this behind. It's just completely useless. There's no synergies for it. Uh, charmed boat. Charming someone in a room, as you've seen, can be really handy. Having them just shoot the... 
shoot there, friends. Yeah, I think I'm fine. We're just moving forward. As long as we're moving forward and we have a purpose, we should be fine. I fucking hope so. But let's stun everybody into submission. Ah, oh, pot shot don't blink. So luckily, we could just have a recon here. Yeah, it's only him. Right, we changed weapon. Again, this is a re the easier rooms. We just, you know. Ooh, if we charm them and let them shoot each other, they're jammed. They might give me extra money. Oh shit. There you go. Any extra jammed money there? Oof. What? Oh, pots. Hey, it's only half a heart. They're fine. I mean, easier room, though. Oh, don't go straight for my boy. Blob Rancher. Um, what is it? Gull's Revenge, Last Bullet Stand, and Thermal Clips. Thermal Clips is actually really good for Blob Rancher. <gasps> right, I need to make some friends. Oh, I got rid of the finished. Shit. Is he finished gun? And it's going to be blobs forever. Yeah, luckily the thermal clips can set fire to the blobs, killing them. Because the one real problem... Oh, make, yeah, make money. All the money. I need all that damage. Make the blobs. Make the jammed blobs. Actually, all I need to do... I don't need to fire at my blobs to kill them. I just need to run out of ammo. The real problem problem with this room... Ah, oh, shit, I got hurt. It's fine. We actually, you know, don't mind getting hurt for a bit of cash here. Oh, don't kill everybody. Good, good. Oh, second phase. Fine. Oh, shit, you don't actually... Yeah. If you're dealing with a second phase... Ah, bastard. Again, if we have the money... We should save HP later by, you know... Killing people faster. And we might earn enough money to actually buy the health back if we can shop. I don't mind wasting this entire clippers, well, this entire gun's worth of uh, weaponry as well. Come on, give me more jump. Yeah, burn them all. Yeah. I like how the goal's not really doing well. Uh, what other weapon can we use? Yeah, make them slowly. Anymore before they all die. If again everyone dies in a room, it just stops, you know, <laughs> and you lose your opportunity to blob ranch. Yeah, once you get into a rhythm, you start losing a lot less HP. However, it's always a dangerous one. I don't really want to waste all this ammo, though. I wish I got my, uh, sword. Oh, I think we finished. One more. One more. There we go. One more jammed folk. And ammo. <laughs> uh, bullet borer. Oh, is my Sunlight Javelin looking good? Ox Cannon. Again, with the extra damage. With the... Yeah, the Toxic will rip them apart as well. Yeah. Oh, we're not stunning. Hot Shots again. The great thing is... Oh, I've got both. Oh, come on. Again, you need to pay attention to all things. Here's the deal with Pot Shots, right? The bottom of the floor... The bottom of the room, sorry, never has pots. So, you know, think of that what you will. Um, do we go for paying this dude to try and get a chest? Might be worth it, you know. Ah, money, though. Pot shots. Uh, there is pots down there. Just, if you run over a pot as well, it's the same thing. Yeah, shoot. Shoot the front. Ah. Oh, fuck off. Ah, screw it. Oh, the pots are dead anyway, so... Hold on, if my... Right. Yes, if I get my friend 
is shooting those people and I'm looking at them. You're an idiot, mate. <laughs> Get with the program. Again, if I charm them and look away... Well, I can aim straight... What the fuck? Everybody's dying. Without being charmed. Well, I'd love the love. Oh, it's... For me? Sent... Ugh. Extra shooties. Yeah, this is better in a boss fight, having sentries, because if you charge it up quick, you can have multiple sentries at once. Pot shots. Okay, pot, sh pot shots. <laughs> Let's get to the bottom. Unfriendly fire. We got bad dudes up. Oh, Jesus. I hate this. Oh, we got... Yeah. We got to utilize our... I keep on forgetting I have Spring Hill. What, I can't fire? Oh, it's Gunky. That's why. Eh, took him right out. <laughs> Fighting in close proximity with that fuck face. really despise the fact I never got a chance to stop the toxic fire. Yeah, fucking hazmat suit, man. I'm old. Before I forget, Jesus. Before I forget, Jesus? <laughs> How could you ever? Uh, yeah, I'll, pro I'll put some localized fire down and do some stunning, stunning work. While this is trying to advance towards me, well, play smart. And where's the local? Oh, oh, is it Blob Ranch? Oh, fuck off. It was. How am I? Mm, this is how you get ripped apart, by the way. In one room. Dude, fuck that. Oh, all I had to do was sit in a corner and stun them. Like, there's no chance of them getting close to me. Hey, stop it! Half a heart, what? Nice stress. Or am I just literally on half a heart? And that was highly inconvenient. Right, who's left? Ah, oh, no. Oh! Well, that's it, my friends. Double challenge mode. That little happy blob. Look at him. Oh, look at his face. That was a very, very harsh room. Um, There's probably something I could have done about it, but fuck if I know about it, you know? <laughs> anyway, my friends, take care, take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for taking the time to enjoy the content. There's always the like button, the subscribe button, and all that buttons to help do what stuff does on youtube you know the algorithms okay if you have any questions or you know just want to say hi in the comments always feel free to but yeah we stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together come and join us for some great interactive entertainment and uh yeah also keep your ear to the ground for more streams on youtube regarding no end of the gungeon again more different types of streams moving forward and uh yeah yeah i'll see you all when i see you next either tomorrow in the streams or tomorrow in the videos or you know Whenever you decide to rejoin us again, some good roguelike gaming entertainment. Well, until now, until then, take it easy. See you soon.